Um, so speaking of effort and attention on victims' rights, um, <laughs> been, <laughs> a bunch of us would be in jail for things that we did as kids. Seriously, right? Like, I'm not saying that, like, for example, statutory right, I'm not even going to get into R. Kelly, but seriously, like, when you're talking about adults, and it's also very different with sex thing, if we're talking about an adult, right, somebody well over the age of 18, we're talking about, like, a 20-something-year-old messing with a 16-year-old, that all bets are off. It's a completely different issue. I'm not for, I'm not for adults picking on kids. There's a completely different issue. We're talking about contemporaries, right, kids in school together, peers. I don't see logic. There was a case out of, one more case. There was a case out of Florida. I did a bunch of research. Once upon a time, I was supposed to write a journal, a law journal article with my, with my godmother. She's a law professor. Uh, once upon a time, we were going to write them, and then I was transitioning jobs and completely flaked. But I think I'm going to pull out all my over because this is really important. Um, but there was a case in Florida, and like I said, there was Romeo and Juliet laws, and these kids had sex, and they videotaped themselves off of the webcam on her computer. This a few years ago, and then they emailed it, right? From they they, they together, right? They videotaped it at one house. They they sat there and emailed it to the other one. The parents, right, were upset and turned it over to the police. I don't understand why parents can't discipline their dad on kids themselves without having to go to the police. Like this is not an issue where you need the police to come in and handle your kids. This is an issue where you ground somebody, you take away the computer. Like these are things that can be resolved very simply, and we going off the rails. Like it doesn't even make any sense, people. So anyway, ultimately, the kids, because the Romeo and Juliet laws, right, um, had just been like struck down. Again, age, um, and like you're a little outside of that age, like you're between a certain age, and it's not necessarily considered statutory rape. But in some cases, even if you were both the same age and you were underage, it could be considered statutory rape. So there are still so many of these laws on the book too. It's it's really problematic. But in this case, the court ruled. This is Florida case. In this case, the court ruled that. The, the fact that they had sex, the statutory raping, that was not an issue. You know, they had already addressed Romeo and Julia laws in Florida. It was the fact that they videotaped themselves. So even though they weren't in trouble legally for having sex, the fact that they were decided to record it to keep it for memories or whatever, that was the problem. And one of the reasons why they, the court ruled they were punishing them was the fact that somebody else could get access to it. So you're going to punish me because somebody else might accidentally see something on my computer. Why does that even make sense from a legal standpoint? Like, this doesn't even make any sense. And this is the problem. We have a lot of laws that are not based on common sense at all. They're based on people's puritanical views about youth, sexual, sexuality, and in some cases, womanhood. 